I recently played Slime Rancher for the first time. I've always really enjoyed farming games, but it felt a little too basic for me to make a farming game myself. Now that I'm in my cringe is dead era, let's make a cozy ranching game. I want to make something similar to Slime Rancher, with the exploration, raising creatures, and building up a home base. But I want to make it more of my own. I want to make it set in a magical forest where you play as a witch. I also want to make the story more meaningful, with NPCs to interact with and build relationships with. My first task was to make a plot. Empty plots are the main system for building up your base in Slime Rancher, and I intend the same thing for my game. Each empty plot can be built into any particular thing, and later on these things will do stuff like holding your creatures, growing crops, and more. For now, I just have some placeholders to test the mechanics. I took a lot of code over from my recent horror games, but I needed to tweak a few things. The player is much faster, and sprinting uses a stamina bar now. Most of the art is temporary, because I'm focusing on getting the core systems implemented. One of the things I liked from Slime Rancher is that items are physical objects, so they can roll around or be moved by shooting stuff at them. Likewise, the player gets a vacuum spell to suck up or shoot out items. I still need to make it more pretty, but I have the functionality working quite well. Since you play as a witch, I decided potions should be an important part of the game. I followed some guidance from Minions Arts tutorial on how to make liquids that slosh around inside of a bottle. I still need to tweak it a little bit but the liquid does wobble as the potion rolls. Another important system to witchcraft is the cycles of the moon. So I made a skybox system. The sun and moon travel through the sky, and over the course of the year, the moon goes through all of the typical phases. Additionally, there is a weather system that I'm working on that is super basic, but right now it lets me decide what direction the wind is going, and the clouds and grass will react to that. Another fun system that I plan to integrate with the potions is a player attribute system. Basically, the player has several named values, and temporary modifiers can be applied to them. Right now, I just have a debug button that applies a modifier to the stamina regeneration rate, which quickly refills the stamina bar. Something that I'm really proud of, and I hope will be popular, is modding support. Because of how Godot is built, individual resource files can be exported to a small pack file. And then the game can load these pack files, which imports all the modified or new resource files. For now, there's not a lot of integrations for modding, but I am building as many systems as possible to support modification. For example, the types of plot objects are loaded dynamically from these resource files. So modding in a new plot type is as easy as in making a new resource file. No coding required. Now I keep calling this game Cute Farm Sim Game mainly because that's the vibe that I want the game to have. But it's not really the best title, so I'm still thinking about what kinds of titles would be best, and I'm open to suggestions if you're feeling crafty. A question you likely have by now is, when do I get to play this? Well, I have some plans for this game to be a bit bigger than my previous games. I want to publish it on Steam, with integrations like achievements, workshop support, and more. I'm also considering publishing it to GOG, because I do not build any DRM into my games. Also, the GOG SDK actually has a wrapper around the Steam SDK, so I can integrate achievements on both platforms by just targeting Steam. And now it's time for a call to action. I know it's generally bad to have more than one, but I'm going to trust that you're a smart viewer and you can choose what you want to do. Right now, there are two kinds of support that I really need. I need to know if people are interested in this game at all, and I need the money to make it. I believe if I worked full-time, 40 hours a week, that I could finish this game in about a year and a half. But if I have enough support, I'd love to build out the game even more with updates and expansions. So the choice is yours. Let me know if you're interested, support me financially, or even better, do both. I want to give a shout out to the people that have already been supporting me. They are Real Kotab, ZenNX, Juno Jove, and Thiger. Thank you all so much for your support and have a great day.